Hello everyone, my name is Pixorifs. Welcome to my new house. Uh, this is this is kind of crazy to be saying, to be honest. It, it's, it's been so, so long since we even started this process that, like, I I can still barely believe we're here. This is, this is like, day seven of us having moved in at this point, so a lot of stuff is kind of set up, but I want to show you guys the house. We spent about a week packing up the old flat, uh, packing everything into boxes. We're moving house! Ah! Now, now it's all here. <laughs> like, my, it's so weird seeing the same stuff in a different space. But anyway, I'm gonna take you guys outside so we can start the tour and... Uh... <laughs> I'll take you guys up the steps first. We have steps that go up to the main road here. There's a gate that we share with the neighbors, but this, this is my new house. <laughs> with the number plate blurred, obviously, for a little bit of privacy. But yeah, we have this big old kind of very sloped front garden leading up to the door. And there's a low wall that kind of prevents the grass from just going straight up to the front door. We also have a little side door there, which I'll explain in a minute. But uh, yeah, this is my front door. Come on in. So for a start, we have the hallway, which is relatively small entrance space. Got stairs up there on the left. And there was a door here originally, which we we had to take off when the movers were moving some stuff in, but we decided to just leave it off in the end. We ended up taking it off again ourselves after they'd refitted it because it opening that way meant there was no space for like shoe rack, which is something we kind of want because we've got a lot of shoes that we need to put down here. But that leads straight through to the kitchen and the kitchen was basically the first thing we unpacked because we've got to have the tea, right? So <laughs> I'm going to bring this one with me and probably going to be with me for the rest of this journey. But yeah, the kitchen is, it's a little narrow, but it's got a lot of space in it. There's drawers, plenty of cupboards of space. There's two windows, which means it gets a lot of light, which is very nice, something I really like in a kitchen. The sink does what it should do. <laughs> There's a, a gas hob and a an electric oven, which is my preferred combination of stuff. So we've been cooking with electric hobs for a while and they, they heat up really slow, but gas, you just got instant heat, which is amazing. Over here we've got the microwave, which was basically the second thing we set up because we needed to microwave the takeaway food that we had uh, from the night before. Through this way, we have the utility space, and this is where that door on the side of the house goes. So we've got the yellow one that comes through the side and the purple one that comes through the main door. This is just the boiler cupboard, so there's nothing particularly interesting in there. There's the boiler, it heats the house, which is pretty awesome. We've got a washing machine set up in here bunch of kind of utility junk and the cat carriers from our sadly no longer with us cats but you know we thought we'd keep them around just in case and that leads out to the back garden which I will get to in a second. The kitchen is really well done it's one of the things that they've kind of fixed up about the house before they sold it so really happy with that. Moving on through here we have a lovely wood floor and this right here is the dining room with a desk in the corner that that was my old computer desk <laughs> that is no longer my computer desk and around here we've got a, a bookshelf that's slowly taking shape over here. This is probably going to be like non-fiction books because we have a lot of the other kind. Uh, dining room table and chairs and stuff there. Piano in the corner with a picture of me and Mrs. Riffs on Halloween from like a few years ago now. Mrs. Riffs enjoying a cup of tea <laughs> over there on the sofa and we've got ourselves a lot of boxes left to unpack. Pretty much all of these are either books or DVDs, and there's a lot of space where we could be putting up shelves and stuff, but we don't quite know where we're going to store everything yet. So it's a bit of a work in progress. In the meantime, we had to put ourselves <laughs> a little impromptu entertainment center down there with the PlayStation and so forth. We've got our board games up there on the shelves. It's all looking pretty good. And we have, <laughs> we have a conservatory which is very fancy. I was not expecting to have a conservatory when I bought a house, but there you go. This is quite a nice little space. It's quite nice and open. Right now there's not a great deal in it aside from my bike and a few bits and pieces of sporting equipment, tennis rackets, which hopefully we'll end up using at some point, and uh, a lovely view of the back garden. <laughs> the back garden was inhabited by a fox for about an hour and a half this afternoon. Um, and we're not that far into the country either, so it's a pretty urbanised fox. <laughs> but it was uh, having a nice sunbathe out there. Which, to be fair, I was, I was a little jealous. I wanted to go out and join it, but then it probably would have run away. I'm uh, unbolting the door to the conservatory, which has about seven locks, but uh, it's kind of a giant, like, giant slab of wood right now, which we kind of want to change out for one that's got glass in it. But we can come out here into the backyard and immediately the acoustics change. <laughs> There's quite a high hedge and this huge tree 
which we kind of want to get rid of at some point. I'm not sure like exactly when we'll end up making too much changes to the garden, but hopefully we'll be able to get a little bit of help with that. But there's a nice lawn space in here. It's quite kind of sloping, but it's nice. That shed down the bottom needs to go because it's falling apart. But yeah, this is it. And we've got a little patio space out here that gets a little bit damp. It's been raining the last couple of days, hence why I have not made this vlog sooner. But it's hopefully going to be quite a nice place in summer to sit out and have barbecues and that kind of thing. Having gone through the complicated process of closing the conservatory door again, <laughs> I'm going to head back upstairs and show you guys what's up. We First of all, we have the, uh, the internet router, which by the time you guys are seeing this will actually have been connected, but as of right now it is not, and that has been very, very strange not having the internet for a week, <laughs> only having mobile internet to go by. But anyway, first and foremost, up at the top of the stairs, we have ourselves a lovely bathroom. It's got all the usual stuff. It's got a toilet, a sink, bath and shower, quite a lot of light, which is nice. A heated towel rail as well. Oh my gosh, guys, central heating is the best after having had electric heaters in the house for however long. We have ourselves a little linen cupboard in here. We've got towels, sheets, makeup, toiletries, that kind of thing. What is up here? Is there anything? Oh yeah, oh, a spare duvet. A spare duvet goes up there. So if you're staying over, that's what you're getting. This is my pride and joy. This is my office. The setup is here. I have my monitors side by side instead of stacked one on top of the other. But yeah, this is uh, essentially my new computer desk. It's my wife's old desk and I'm going to be using this for the foreseeable future. It's a little bit wider, a little bit broader than my previous desk and I've got my stuffed toys on the back of it. It's fitted wardrobes here because this is technically like the master bedroom, but we decided we probably want to tear out the fitted wardrobes at some point because they're kind of huge and they're like the depth in these things is ridiculous. Like, if you look at that, there's there's a lot of a lot of space in there. Like so, if you tear these things out, maybe leave one or two of them. I'm storing all of my instruments and some of my old equipment and boxes and stuff in here, but that could probably give us another three foot of space in this room. So probably need to get rid of those at some point and take them out. But once we've cleared out the boxes in here, my wife's desk is probably going to be somewhere in here as well, so she can write and I can do my videos and we can do our thing. On the left over here, we have the bedroom. And uh, yeah, obviously this is still in a state of being unpacked. There's like a school nearby, so there's a lot of kids who run around, but every now and again, you get those moments of peace and quiet, which are really nice. And this is, <laughs> of course I'm saving this for last. This is the messiest room of the house, basically. This is the kind of the third bedroom. We're probably gonna put a little guest bed in here or something. It's a little small right now but around the corner here there is potential for this to become a staircase it sort of it looks like they started to have a staircase and then thought better about it but eventually if we end up converting the loft into another set of rooms because the loft hatch is currently in our bedroom it's like up there and it's not boarded but if we end up boarding that and like actually putting in like a proper loft extension then this could just be an extension of the staircase you could just come up the stairs over there, come into this room around here and then up onto the next floor. And there could be another bedroom up there, maybe another bathroom or something like that as well. You know, there are a few different possibilities to explore. So I'm looking forward to seeing how this house will take shape in the years we own it. But this is us now. This is us now. This is where I will be doing all of my videos. Here we are. This is Pixelrus HQ. This is the new home of my channel of the Hermitcraft recap, voiceover stuff, all of that. I'm really looking forward to it, guys. I hope you are too, and I hope you guys haven't missed me too much while I've been away. <laughs> we'll be getting back into it very, very soon. Hopefully, if everything goes out on time and if I can spare the time, we'll be picking up the Sky Factory streams this Sunday. And yeah, there's gonna be a lot to do, and obviously I have a lot of stuff to organize with the house, but here's hoping it will all go well. I'm gonna go and enjoy my tea. Thank you so much for watching this video. Leave a like on it if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more because there will be more very, very soon. I'll see you guys later. Bye for now.